Hi guys, I uh, just wanted to give you a small update on the ECU problem or at least give uh, some information that I might not have given before. Uh, I posted about these problems to or this problem yeah to uh, uh, a few um, forums for instance the m5board.com uh, and I know I've written it there but I don't think I've mentioned in, in mentioned it in my YouTube videos so yeah I just wanted to tell you about that now so <clears throat> if you've uh, followed my previous videos and you've seen uh, the part about the ECU problem uh, you know that the car doesn't run properly after reverting back to a stock ECU um, which is a shame um, but anyway so I've tried to uh, uh, disconnect uh, the MAF sensor <clears throat> so um, <clears throat> I've tried to disconnect this plug here and uh, <clears throat> uh, well the, the behavior gets even worse so it's not like that solves anything um, so I I would assume that the MEF sensor is working as it should as intended this is this was both brand new original three years ago <clears throat> and it was mounted into the car uh, by a previous owner while the um, <clears throat> um, aftermarket ECU was installed because when he got the car uh, it didn't have this air filter box it just had a massive air filter mounted on straight here and he uh, he didn't like the look of that so even though the MAF sensor was not intended to be used he would like to have the original look so he actually bought a new MAF sensor and just installed it in here and um, if this was powered or not, um, I, I can't tell because if this unit receives power without a stock ECU installed into the car, then it probably had power. But it, if it requires a stock ECU to, in order to have to be powered, um, then it wasn't powered. Anyway, it was mounted in the car, but the thing is that it has only been in the car for like 10,000 kilometers which is about 6,200 miles um, and uh, because this is a an enthusiast car of course that's only been driven during nice summer days so I doubt uh, it can become very dirty in that amount of time or that amount of range driven and also <clears throat> disconnected um, uh, the lambda probe sensor just to see if the car uh, behave, be, uh, changed behavior and it's sort of um, the acceleration is a is a bit less jerky actually so we notice the difference is uh, the acceleration is a little less jerky but you wouldn't say that the problem is by any means fixed but uh, while driving steady and applying light throttle uh, the car is ever so jerky uh, with that um, MEF, uh, sorry the lambda sensor unplugged but uh, the real strange thing here is that if you unplug this uh, the idle control valve if you unplug this uh, I haven't tested it while the car is cold or the engine is cold but I've been told that uh, it doesn't want to idle then but the thing is when you when you have that um, connector unplugged uh, of course uh, you can't really that's not a solution because you can't drive with it unplugged because it won't idle properly and the car is very on and off at the bottom end it's uh, it's like on and off throttle and uh, it doesn't run nice at all <clears throat> at low rpms but you when you sort of get over that very bottom low rpm range then during acceleration and steady light throttle it actually seems like the problem is gone which is 
very strange. It sort of, as far as I remember it, uh, accelerates normally uh, without all the jerkiness. And uh, that's so that's a very, uh, very strange behavior. Like I've mentioned before, I'm no mechanic and I don't really have any thorough knowledge about any of this. Um, but I, I am aware of a guy from England who has probably has the nicest E34 M5 3.8 in the world. He has uh, done a nut and bolt restoration of the car and it's absolutely mint, looks brand new. <laughs> Um, the entire car and he has done a complete uh, engine rebuild he also uh, to my knowledge experience at least the same th symptoms uh, it's very hard to say that it's I mean you can't say for sure that our problems are exactly the same and is caused by the same root cause but the symptoms uh, seem uh, uh, yeah they seem identical and he's the one that asked me to try to to disconnect the ICV. Um, uh, so it seems like our cars um, behaves the same way, but he is a car, a BMW mechanic and uh, he doesn't understand anything of this uh, particular problem. Um, so, um, and he said that he, he has tried to, I mean, his uh, on his, his since his engine was completely rebuilt he had all new parts according to him and he said that uh, the icv was brand new but he still tried to change it but that doesn't that didn't fix this behavior so by re replacing the icv with a brand new one uh, it didn't solve the problem so um yeah this is a very strange issue because you can you can check uh, you know the basic uh, components like making sure the uh the fuel pressure is okay you can check the fuel pressure regulator and and probably the synchronization of the throttle bodies you can do all these things uh but but what happens when you actually disconnect that icv and apart from the bottom end of course the car runs it seems like it runs like it should uh you know no no um jerkiness while acceler accelerating uh, on you know uh, low and mid throttle um so i i don't really understand this uh, but uh, like i said i don't have a clue about uh the um uh yeah how this works so if you have any comments on that please uh drop a comment below uh, i'd be really i really appreciate any any tip or and help that i can uh, get on this topic thank you